The Lonely Scarecrow by Tim Preston. In the middle of a field, under a sky the color of cornflowers, stood a scarecrow. He had a scary face, but a kindly heart. More than anything, he wished that the animals and birds would be his friends. But the creatures of the field were afraid of the scarecrow's flapping coat and big black hat. They were afraid of his beady eyes, his crooked nose, and his jagged metal mouth. In the spring, the scarecrow watched the animals play at the edge of his field. He watched the birds as they made their nests. He watched the carefree tumblings of fox cubs and rabbits. He listened to the noisy ducklings by the old pond. And all the time, the animals watched the scary scarecrow. But they never came near. Each day, the swaying wheat in the field grew taller. The scarecrow lost sight of the animals. He lost even the happy song of the lark, drowned out by the whispering of the wheat. Marooned in his golden sea, the scarecrow lost hope of ever making friends. Then the combine monster came to harvest the wheat. The animals hid from its churning jaws and the raving acres of mud and stubble that it left behind. They also hid from the scarecrow who stood alone now in an empty field. From the north came a sly breeze that stole the leaves from the trees and the light from the days. The animals hurried home to their warm burrows and cozy nests. And the scarecrow felt even lonelier, for he knew that winter was coming. Snow fell heavy one night and kept on falling. It fell on the bare, still woods and on the silent fields. Slowly, it covered the ground where the scarecrow stood. In the morning, the animals woke up to a world that had changed. A thick blanket of snow covered the frozen earth. The scarecrow seemed to have vanished too. In his place stood a jolly snowman. The creatures played happily in the field, rolling and tumbling in the snow around the scarecrow. And the scarecrow, well, he was as cheerful and bright as the sunny winter day. Although he was happy, the scarecrow was afraid of what would happen when he lost his snowy coat. He was afraid that the animals would shrink from his twisted shape. Most of all, he was afraid he would be alone again. And then the snow began to thaw. The snow slipped off the scarecrow's shoulders and dripped from the brim of his hat. When the last patches of snow fell from his face, the animals looked up in wonder. Could the friendly snowman be the same scary creature they had feared for so long? As the warmth of spring stirred the brown earth, the scarecrow felt a bird peck on his hat and a mouse nestled in the folds of his coat. And the scarecrow knew that he would never be lonely again.